Hey there everyone, today's video is going to be a recent favourites video and I know I haven't done a favourites video for I think like 4 months but I really don't feel the need to do them all that often but I have a few products that I really want to talk about in this one. So getting started with the category of eyes as usual, I have been really really into the Inglot Freedom System. Now I've been using the Freedom System eyeshadows in my kit for over 2 years now and it's only recently that I've decided to kind of expand my own personal collection. Because originally I only had this palette, a few months ago I got this one and filled it up. So now I have a half filled 40 palette and I love these eyeshadows, I cannot get enough of them. I get asked a lot about what eyeshadows I would recommend to people or people who are starting out in the makeup industry. Um, Inglot is my answer for everyone. Next up in the category of lips is a product that I recently talked about actually in a review video. This is Deadly Nightshade by Necromancy Cosmetica and this is the one that I mentioned was a perfect dupe of Space Cake. I've been loving grey lipstick lately. Um, I don't know why, just really really loving it and I think it's matching Brisbane weather perfectly because we've just had nothing but rain. Next up in the category of other I had to make mention of the Lush Mask of Magnamenti. Yes, it's a kind of weird name but it is a pun because it's very minty. I have kind of fallen in love with this mask. I'm not a big fan of face masks so um, I took this as a recommendation from Jeffree Star because he has oily skin, he wears a lot of makeup, he's kind of brutal on his skin but he has really nice skin. So he mentioned this and I decided I'm going to test the waters. This was my first Lush product, well not this one, I grab a new one every single month because I use this twice a week. I started using this at the end of April and I have not looked back. It's really, really nice on my skin. I love mint, so it smells nice. It feels nice on my skin, it's nice and cooling. And I feel like my skin is so much better afterwards. And my partner probably won't appreciate me putting this on YouTube, but sorry babe. Um, he loves this as well. I kind of asked him to use it one day while he was putting in his beard mask and he reluctantly did it because I had mine on and I don't know, he seemed really upset at the time but he loved how his skin felt afterwards so it was definitely a win for both of us. For eyelashes over the last few months I have made mention of one particular pair of lashes so many times on Instagram it's ridiculous but these are the House of Lashes Temptress Wispy Lashes and I love them to the ends of the earth. They are probably one of the most natural looking lash I've ever used and, and I also really like the fact that you can buy these in like multi-packs um, so you buy three at a time and you get a discount and yeah I love these lashes to the end of the world and I think that everyone should probably at least try them once. For perfume I have mentioned this perfume before but it is winter at the moment and this is like my essential winter autumn perfume. So this is Illamasqua Freak. This is my second bottle of it and sadly they didn't have a big bottle. They never seem to have the big bottle of this. But this is a very spicy perfume and it's unisex. It smells great on my partner as well as myself so that's why I go through it quite quickly. But I highly recommend this to everyone. With accessories over the last few months I've been wearing a lot of pieces from a particular online store called The Crypt of Curiosities. Now recently they sent me a package and it contained a couple of their new pieces but yes I have bought from them in the past so it wasn't like they were completely unknown to me. My particular favourite piece out of the lot that they sent me was this. It is a crow on a branch. I just thought this was so unique and so cool. I don't know, I really really love it and I've been wearing the absolute heck out of all their jewellery but I really wanted to show this one because it's my favourite. My favourite clothing item over the last few months has been this, which is a cloak that I bought from Berserk. It's by the brand Punk Rave, which is one of my favourite clothing brands. And it just kind of looks like a black mass of fabric, but I assure you, it is very, very nice on. I got this because it reminded me of the dark moory kind of fashions with lots of layers and kind of woodland elfy, but goth. I wear the hell out of this. I wear it pretty much every day because it is so comfortable. I love how I feel wearing this too. I always feel awesome when I wear this. It also has an elven shaped kind of hood. Well, I call it an elven shape. Moving on to my favourite shoes the last few months. Naturally, they are going to be my New Rock, New Space Knit Tunos. Love these. They're so comfortable. They're covered in grass at the moment because I wore them through the rain the other day. But they, they still look perfect. That's the thing that I love about these. I cannot sing higher praises of these boots. Just so in love with them. 
so comfortable as well. I don't think people believe me with how comfortable they are. They are like clouds on my feet. So moving on, my favourite song of the month, well I have two. So the first one is Black Feathers by Seabound. Um, it's a very calming song. I really, really like it because it's so calm. I don't know. And the other song is from Scythe to Scepter by Bellacore. I'm back into Bellacore. I love Bellacore. I, I think they're one of the best Australian bands, honestly. My favourite band of the month has been Bellacore, naturally. Um, but I've also been listening to a lot of Behemoth. I've been getting myself kind of psyched up for October 10th because I'm going to go see them live for my birthday. Um, well, actually my birthday's on October 13th, but it's close enough. And lastly, my favourite movie of the month. I just want to make mention of two things. The first being Freaks and Geeks. Finished it, love it. I don't know why they cancelled it after such a short span of time. It was bloody awesome. And the second movie I want to make mention of is Once Were Warriors. It is an art house kind of a New Zealand film, but I love the absolute heck out of it. I watch it once every couple months when I need a good old cry. Um, I'm not a very emotional person, so I get a lot of pent up rage, sadness, all that kind of jazz, and I just put on a really sad movie and cry myself to sleep. It's a movie that I think everyone should watch at least once because it is so beautiful. I love it. So that is all for my recent favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'd love to be here for every single video. Like this video if you like my recent favourites. Comment down below what your favourites of the last few months have been and I hope you all have a fantabulous day.